Welcome back to year number 10, week number, conference championship weeks. So I have no idea what week number it is. This week, we're playing the Michigan Wolverines, that team from up north. Our Cascade Valley Coyotes, I think, are the better team. Michigan has lost three times, but Lee Corso is picking them, number 13 versus number six. What? Now, if you look at Michigan's schedule, they beat LSU. They lose to number two, Notre Dame. Beat Minnesota, beat Purdue. They lose to Miami. What? They beat number five, Penn State. So they have two big victories. Or actually, no, one big victory. Number five, Penn State. The 23, no one cares. And they also lost to Indiana. This team you think is going to beat us, Lee Corso? What? Now, we currently have nine scholarships remaining. And for whatever reason, D.B. on Gurley has not signed. Jaron Poe has not signed. Brandon Lopez has not signed. I am beyond flustered at this point because I don't know why these dudes aren't signing. Whoa, South Carolina unlocked and brought themselves back in. It was just two teams and they just got themselves back up in there. So we might have some crazy stuff. I will literally put all 10,000 points on Debian Gurley because I need that offensive tackle. And also speaking of things that don't make any sense, no sign of Warren Ford right now, despite how dominant this man has been after that big performance last week. They got Derek Robinson, Devin Rogers, Johnny Porter, William Brown, Trent Bain. I don't care about any of them because they ain't Warren Fullwood. Somehow Texas Tech is still the number one team in the nation. They beat TCU last week. They have no games this week, so they're pretty much going to be guaranteed to be the number one team with no college or no conference championship. Alabama is a two, Notre Dame is a three, Florida is at four. The big thing here, if we win our game, Alabama and Florida play this week. One of them has to lose, which means that one of them will fall out of the top four. We will go into the top four with the win against number 13, Michigan. And we're in the college football playoffs, baby. Let's make it happen. All right, we have a return to kick and God knows how long to start it off. Antonio Vo ran into his own man. If he didn't, he's gone. Zeus Dawson just did a split. A little QB read option here. Woo! War forward, don't fumble, get the first. Okay, they say he's short. I don't believe that. All right, Zeus Dawson, again, can't wait to replace this guy, potentially in the offseason. But look at him. He said, you ain't replacing nothing. If he just gets some, some more speed, like a plus three speed, he'll be great. Forward, yeah, we sliding, we sliding. Forward's gas, we cannot give him the rock right now. Okay, Zeus Dawson, we're just gonna run right into him. Jalen Clark, let's go. What a catch. Fullwood seems like he's got most of his energy back. Hit the blocks, pitch it. Okay, we broke no ankles on that one, but we got the first down. Got it. All right, Joe Kendrick's in, which is honestly probably better for us. Oh my God, the blocking. What are we doing here? Oh, he beat him. Let's go, Antonio Vaughn, the red shirt freshman. We back. Yeah, 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 he's scared. I'm blitzing. Oh my God. What? Hello? Uh, is that Terrell Davis? The heck? We'll get that tackle, Kendall Johnson. Oh my God, we're just, don't let him mush you. Oh, the little screen. There we go, finally a regular tackle. That dude is tall, what the heck? Calvin Lazy is six foot seven, 246 pounds. He's built like me. Ah! Tough. Oh, QB keeper. Oh my God, my ankles. Technically, it's the CPU's ankles. Oh my God, there's so much pressure right now for us to do something positive. <gasps> what are you doing, Jaquest Ness? Just watch the ball. He was like, What? You can't miss him. He's six foot seven. Guard him. All right, so that was not great defensively. He just got, Oh my God, he's fast. We'll play action. Why would you? Oh my God, forward almost had his ankles. That was crazy. Juice Dawson, turn up. Never mind, turn down. Dot to Jalen Clark. Let's go. Dot to Mikel Smith. Forward loves a big tight end, though, when he fell one. Armani Ferdinand, let's go. 16 yards. Juice Dawson, look, you might be the slowest person on the team besides the offensive lineman, but you're out there getting yards. He's prone to fumble right now. Juice Dawson, fight for your bread. 30 inches. Why? Can we get one here? Juice Dawson, I choose you. He ran someone over. I do declare. What? I don't think this is their like real starting. What? He Hello? Beyond confused right now. Oh, we were blitzing, blitzing there. And they still got a seven yard game. Oh, we just got dudes falling down. Oh, let's go, Sam D's nuts. Big sack. Pause if needed. Ooh, baited him. Block for Warren Fullwood. You block for me, he's gone. Choose Dawson, question mark. Choose Dawson. What is the flag on the play? Who is it? I'm suspending him. Not Armani Fernie. I love him too much. 
I kind of wanted to do that. Oh, get rid of it forward. You got to get hit. No, stop hitting my quarterback, please. Let him cook. Oh, my God. I almost cried. <gasps> Mikael Smith, I choose you. I choose you. I choose you. We back. All right, we scored kind of quick. Let's see what <gasps> Michigan more like Michigan because they catch an L's. Just, actually, we caught the pass, but they threw an L. You know what I mean? Unbelievable. Christoph Houston making the play of the game with unbelievable just awareness to pick that ball off. But what again? Feeling the pressure. Sees his tight end. He's going to love it. And he finds the big tight end for 13. Breathing uncontrollably. I'm scared of a fumble. He holds on to it. We're good. Oh, God. Oh, God. Forward roaming. Sees a guy. Throws it. Wilson's out at the one yard line, but that was a crazy catch. Big opportunity here. Michigan lining up in a really bad position. The touchdown vulture himself, Joe Kendrick, coming into the game easily in the end zone. A little bit of a rough, unnecessary roughness, if you ask me. We extend our lead now to 21. Your Michigan things just got real spicy. You need some points on the board ASAP, but this defense is swarming. Will Hayes has been screaming at the quarterback pretty much the entire game. They end up going with a little bit of a halfback draw here. The running back's been pretty good today, too. 35, watching the QB in this one, looking for the underneath stuff. They go the other side rodriguez gibson can't quite make the tackle and simmons gets run over after 12. you can already guess what he's doing he's blitzing and he's gonna end up being there they botch the handoff they go in the read option they should have gave it to the running back and hayes is there to drop him wide open across the middle rodriguez gibson though there for the tackle well they said scream it's a wide receiver screen. i was looking for the running back and they get the first because of it Nice pass. Will Hayes, though, makes the tackle short of the line. One of the first plays when I really put any pressure on the quarterback. He decides to take off. Now we got dudes ready. Do we? Do we? Oh, my God. We killed him. Uh-uh. Nope. -uh. No. Huh. What? There we go. Hey, way to pass break up. Now we sort of approach it. Oh, my God. We're leaving dudes wide open. What are we doing, defense? Oh, my God. That was a dot to the one-yard line. Quarterback lines up. We're trying to blitz him. He throws one. It is beautiful. And he's out of bounds before he catches it. Oh, my God. They're both reviewing this. I think his foot's down on the white. The fix is in. College rules obviously help us here. Oh, my God. They're blitzing, blitzing. Belief. Ferdinand. And he's out of bounds. Oh, my God. Big play. Forward out there slinging that thing. No. I don't want to talk about it. Jalen Clark, big play. All right, Aiden Bailey, absolutely money this season. I think he's only missed one. He's not going to miss this one because that is a boot down the middle. And our lead is back up. What is that, 18? Math is hard. I don't know how to do math. Oh, my God. Tackle him. He's 6'7". Great job. Christoph Houston, he ran all the way around to get the big sack. Pause if needed. Your mother's favorite play. Oh, my God. Warren forward. No. Why would Porter Ryan not pick it up? I'm crying. I got jet. I got overzealous. I'm dumb. I am so dumb. Off his helmet. Off the heezy. Big sack. These nuts. Well, Hayes has been blitzing like 90% of this game, and I blitzed apparently the incorrect way because this dude is killing me. Will Hayes. Different. Let's go. Forward. QB keeper. Wow. I just don't understand how that man went all the way down and then ran over. That is crazy. Second and 12. Last drive. Obviously not great. Let's bounce back. Juice Dawson, slowest man on the field, but hey, let's go. A whole lot of people could have been open here, but Warren Fullwood. I mean, speed, you can't teach it. You can't teach speed like that. <laughs> I clicked on like it was Madden and forgot to press the button. Beautiful dot to Mr. Wilson. He's cooking right now. Ready to run as slow as humanly possible. Up the middle, just kidding. Look at Juice Dawson fight for eight yards. Are you kidding me? I don't want to sound any alarms, but Juice Dawson's averaging over four yards per carry right now. I've never been this delighted in my entire life. But Joe Kendrick says, hold on, buddy. I see your four yards. I'm going to run for 14. Great drive here from Cascade Valley. Warmer forward. Got him on edge. 14 more yards. He's almost at 100 this game. Oh, we were going nowhere in that one. I mean, forward had a lot of pressure in his face there. Pause if needed, and he almost had that pass. Just too wide. Nice dump off here to Mikel Smith. Got him shaking in their boots. Tutty. And with that, Warren Forward has the school record for passing touchdowns in the season, breaking John McConnell's record of 35. He now has 36 with plenty more games to be played. Oh, halfback screen. Oh, yeah, we were ready for that one. The whole school in shambles. Probably going to defund the football program after this. 
I almost defunded ours after Desmond Simmons didn't jump. Will Hayes has been blitzing, I think, on 90% of the downs that he's been in the field today. He has just been using his speed to get over there. Demel Hill not using his speed, getting torched by a dude whose name is Jeanette. <laughs> Jeanette is going to walk all the way in the end zone. And Michigan keeps things interesting. Fullwood stays in shotgun. Coach Mervin McMurvin not let his foot off the pedal right now. Fullwood is just going to get rid of that one because there is nowhere to go. Doesn't look like it. Fullwood hit him with a pump fake. Fullwood feeling antsy. Fullwood is out here running, and he's got 21 more yards, well over 100 on the game. Juice Dawson hasn't got to carry in a minute, especially because Joe Kendrick in the game, and we're seeing why Juice Dawson does it. This man has no speed. One of the final plays here, the third. And it's not looking good. We got a pretty comfortable lead, but it's only 18 points. A lot of stuff could happen here in the fourth quarter. I'm a little scared, so we're going to keep Warren in for a little bit more. If we get one more score, then we might talk about taking some of the starters down. With a beautiful dot that is nearly picked. Somehow, it was not, and he gets five. Sending the blitz again, trying to get some pressure on this quarterback. He panics and throws another one away. Bringing the pressure. We can't quite get to the quarterback. He throws one that's nearly caught. Desmond Simmons gets a deflection, and that was a miserable play for Cascade Valley. And Derek Johnson's going to come in. We're going to see what kind of action he can basically give us right now. Warren forward, though, is going to take this one, and he gets a nice 11 yards. And honestly, the way things are right now, Juice Dawson might not even be on the team next year. We've seen pretty much what he can give us, and it's not a lot, but we're seeing Roderick Johnson bounce one out of the, for eight yards. I'm here for it. We're seeing something nice here again. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Six yards? That's double what we're getting from Dawson. Forward has been money on these QB keepers. He's going to try another one. He gets 14 big yards again. Ready for his carry. So Kendrick not really getting too much there. Maybe half a yard. Like something. He finds Mr. Wilson. Mr. Wilson! They say he's at the one. That looked like a touchdown to me. Or Derek Johnson comes in the backfield. He scored a late garbage time touchdown a week or so ago. He's back in here trying to get in the end zone. He's going to walk in completely untouched. I don't know about you, but the offensive line seems to be blocking a whole lot better with the young, talented guy there. Trying to get some pressure, but not really doing a good job of it. That dude was throwing our guys around. Got to wonder, though, with a lack of a hurry up offense, is Michigan just giving up now? Will Hayes just got absolutely thrown around, but gets back up and still makes a tackle for a loss. Will Hayes definitely has like way less tackles than what he usually has. Only four, but he has three of those for a loss today, which is just unbelievably incredible. A lot of pressure on the quarterback, and we hit him as he throws it. The quarterback looks for something, gets absolutely sandwiched, and he is going to go down on fourth down. This dude is having an opportunity to potentially be the starting running back going into our game next week in the college football playoffs, assuming we get in. Coach Mervin, Mervin, let's Warren forward know this is the last play of the game that he's going to ultimately be in. Roderick Johnson turns up the field. Man, he made a little bit of something happen. Patrick McDonald coming in at QB here. Again, we want to keep this guy warm in case something happens with Fullwood getting injured at any point this postseason. We need McDonald to be ready to go. Buck sweep plays never work with Juice Dawson. Roderick Johnson getting out to the edge, and I'm liking the seven yards we're seeing. McDonald throws a dot. Fernie wide open for 13. Doesn't have a ton, but McDonald obviously can hoof it. He's getting way down the field, stays in bounds on a hook slide, and he's inside the 20. McDonald, though, not going to risk throwing it to him. He's going to pick up a good five and stays in bounds. He's going to be running some more here, trying to evade the defenders. No shot he does, and he throws one away wild. He forces one. I'm surprised it wasn't picked. We're going to go ahead and take our field goal here. Coach Mervin may remember that he's playing Michigan, and he's not ready to go for a field goal here. He wants him to feel some pressure, and then he throws one off his back foot that doesn't go in, but Michigan will still take the L, just not as a 50-burger. Warren Forward came in for that play solely for the reason of he wanted to break the single school record for passing yards in a season, and he does it against the team up north. McDonald, love to see it on the field. He got some action here. We wanted him to throw it a little bit because, again, Warren Forward has been banged up. His knee has been probable each week. If for some reason he can't go out there and do what he's doing in clips like this, we need Patrick McDonald ready to go. Forward again, injured, still throws for 300 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions, didn't get sacked a single time. Uh, from a rushing perspective, forward 145 on the ground. Dawson goes for 38 yards and one tutty. For Derek Johnson, five attempts, 27 yards, one touchdown. I'm inclined to believe that the redshirt freshman might get an opportunity to start in the college football playoffs. We'll ultimately see how he does in practice, but there's a chance. On the receiving side, Ferdinand, 89 yards, Wilson, 43, Smith had 105 and two touchdowns, and Antonio Vaughn got the early touchdown in the game with 49 yards as well. And on defense, Michael Lanier was everywhere. Seven tackles for the true freshman. He is absolutely helping be, this defense be elite. We just see more force, more turnovers. From a sack perspective, we had two from Sam D's nuts. We had one from Christoph Houston, one from Anderson, and one from Will Hayes. Interceptions only one today, but Christoph Houston, but his interception early in that game, when the game was still pretty close, turn the tide if you ask me. Be safe, be smart, tell somebody you love them. Catch you guys in the next one.